Welcome to this episode of DIY Man. Today I've got this cool little project I want to show you uh, with some cool little refinishing tips to go along with it. Before we do that though, I've got a harebrained idea I want to pitch to you. Some of you might already know this, but in addition to loving to do DIY projects, I'm also a little bit of an inventor. What are the best inventions? They're food inventions. As you can tell, I'm a growing young boy. I pitched one of these ideas to Nabisco about two years ago. They basically sent me an email back saying that they don't like to make money. I'm translating loosely, obviously. Nabisco's best product is probably the Oreo, but it's got a major flaw and everybody knows that. Some people want mega stuff, some people want double stuff, some people want triple stuff, some people want regular stuff, some people want thin, some people don't even like the icing in between. But there is a solution to this problem, and that's Easy Cheese. They already make the product. Why don't they put the filling inside of this can? They could sell these little cookie crackers separately, or they could just simply make one type and people could add additional uh, filling if they want. I mean, look how easy that is. That cheese does not go with that. But you get the point. Actually, it is kind of good. Hey guys, I need your help to make this invention a reality. We the people must rise against these oppressive cookie manufacturers. Please share this video so we can get this invention into production. Thanks. Today I'm making a new tabletop for my little end table. I want the wood to look like it's been through a sawmill though. I'm using some scrap oak I had lying around, but you can use just about any type of wood to do this. Start by securing your strips of wood down to something so they don't move around while you do this. Set your circular saw at the minimum depth and the maximum angle. Be really careful where you're holding on to your circular saw when you do this. Sawmill marks on rough cut lumber is very sporadic and random. I'm trying to mimic this in this process. I make some smaller notches on the board and then I go across the board on others. Place some marks together and then spread some of them out. This gives it a little bit more natural appearance. I'm not actually going this fast, I just don't want to take up your whole day, so I sped this video up a little bit. Just take your time and make it look as natural as possible. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and remove your boards. I'm joining mine with wood glue to make a tabletop. Here I am removing the original tabletop from the frame. I like that original design so I'm just going to trace it out on these boards. Once you've cut out your tabletop, Fill the inner portions of these cuts with some dark stain. After your stain dries a little bit, use a sander to get some of the excess dark stain off the top. Now coat the rest of the board with a lighter colored stain. This color is a weathered oak. Once I attach the tabletop, I'll go ahead and apply a coat of polyurethane. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to subscribe for some more great DIY projects.
Oh man, these things are like crap. <laughs> 